here we see the axe lady in her natural environment. Oh. I think that was like I'm some kind of rare species. <laughs> you are. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. She's good. Nice. Still attached. Mm hmm. Hello folks, it's 20th of May today and it's been a, a difficult week at Ladyfield. The Axe Lady has run into some difficulties this week. Monday morning I was uh, I was over in Otter Ferry working at the sawmill as I do most Mondays and got a phone call to say that, uh, well a phone call from Lindsay, uh, she was in in A and E at the hospital in Lakilped, which is where she works. She works in the surgery that's attached to that hospital. Uh, uh, she was in there. She'd fallen over in her clinical room and hit her shoulder really hard on a chair on the way down, and it had dislocated and wouldn't stay in. It got it back in. It just kept coming out again. So she was in a huge amount of pain, and so. Uh, once again, uh, the community around here have just been amazing to us. Uh, Jock, who I was working with, immediately said, come on, let's get in the boat. Because I was on the other side of Loch Fine, which is a good, let me think, I mean, to, to drive from, from Otter Ferry to, to Loch Gilped would be a good, good hour and a quarter, hour and a half, I'm guessing. So uh, we jumped in Jock's boat, nipped across the the lock and then Jock lent me his car on the other side and I drove and I was at the hospital in 30 minutes. So the upshot of all that was they couldn't couldn't stabilise her shoulder so she was transferred by ambulance to to the hospital in Glasgow on Monday night and was expecting to have a scan and an MRI etc etc. So uh, since then so many people have been helping us out and uh, as has been the case since we've been in Scotland. But the, the word this morning is that uh, after a final scan yesterday, they've realized that she's actually broken both a bone in the socket of her shoulder, as well as the bone with the ball on the end. I can't remember the name of that. So she's in for a long run of recovery from this. Just as we're getting to the point where I mean, we were picking picking salad bags at the weekend, and she's uh, she has so much fun doing that, um, uh, working in the polytunnel, which is where I am now, planting out our new tomato plants. Um, but she's going to be out of action for some time, so I thought I'd just send you a little uh, update on that. It'd be really nice if uh, if any of you subscribe to the channel and kind of got to know the axe lady a little bit. Um, if anybody doesn't know, the axe lady's real name is Lindsay. And uh, if you want to leave her a little message in the comments, that'd uh, that'd be something for her. She's still she's still stuck in the hospital in in Glasgow because they can't. Now they've discovered that the bone is broken. They can't do anything to tighten the shoulder up to stop it coming out until the bones have knitted back together. So I think the plan is that they're going to immobilise her arm with some kind of brace. Then she'll be able to come home. But that may take as much as two weeks to make the brace, we've just been told. So she's gonna be there for a while and then she'll come home um, and just have to watch me do everything, uh, all the stuff that she really enjoys. She's not gonna be able to do very much at all. And uh, and then wait until the bones have healed a bit and then they'll be able, she'll have to go back in and there'll be some surgery, I guess, to 
tighten the ligaments back up that are, you know, because everything just keeps falling out. So I thought I'd just bring that little update to, because uh, uh, there's a little bit of a community starting to grow on this channel. And uh, it's, as I said in one of the other videos, this, this channel is going to document our, our adventures, the highs and the lows. So if you fancy dropping a comment in the, uh, in the boxes for Lindsay, that'd be really sweet. In the meantime, this is what I'm on today. I'm just, just in the poly tunnel and uh, as you can see it's all growing really nice. Um, and we're going to plant tomatoes out. So I'm just putting these wires up across here to put some strings which will will go in the, the holes that the tomatoes are planted in and, and grow up and support that as they grow. So this is all the salad that, that we were picking last weekend. Uh, I'll need picking again this weekend. So I'll be getting on with that. And uh, so I'll, uh, this, this, Lindsay, this video is all about Lindsay really, the axe lady. So I'll just, uh, I'm just going to leave you with a little bit of footage of some of her in action. And uh, unfortunately you won't see her swing an axe for a while. So uh, thanks for everybody who's just started subscribing. And uh, we'll be bringing you some more videos and hopefully some, some happier updates very shortly. Bye for now. Really got to give it some. Give it the beans. Hold on. Ah, you beast. Don't look. No, I'm not looking. Just kind of out the corner of your eye if you really want to. Okay. Because it's going to be magnificent. Score it. Woo! <laughs> ah! I think that's music. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? I've done bigger. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh yes. Dreams now. <laughs> you always have been, babies. Oh. God, you're addicted now, aren't you? Go on. Oh. Oh, look at your face. Like this. What music? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> gotta get a cup of tea. Might have to I might have to colour correct this video just to make up for your face. <laughs> it's so red. <laughs> First salad bag. Kajunk. We're going to eat it, but we're going to conjunct it anyway. So, I, th I want to get air in it, so that it's not, like, devoid of all... Just, just spin it. Spin it? Yeah, hold it and... Hold hold the thing and... No! <laughs> You're some sort of monster! <laughs> it's not neat at all! Okay. Ready? Junk. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> One bag of salad. Looking good. <laughs> I'm gonna go pop it in the fridge. <laughs>